headphones aren't anything special, right? No, if okay. you broke them, it's okay. No, I didn't break them, but the right ear is definitely going out. Oh it's no, mono. that's just that's just our uh, system. That's just the system. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, uh, right. But so yeah, no, we're we're live at the <laughs> Whole Human Center, and uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> right, so uh, no, yeah, um, that was reclamation. Reclamation. Um, I was actually asking them with that. I was like, does it put a bad taste in your mouth or something like that? Like, I was like, <laughs> what, what did you taste? What was gross? But no, I, I, that's actually, I, I was actually getting into it. And uh, that's saying something because uh, I either got to be in a really good mood, uh, which I am today. You're, you're we lucky. call that scream the snail po. The snail po? The snail po. There's a scene on Spongebob where Spongebob eats his pet Gary's food <laughs> and then he's grossed out by it. So he does that. So if anybody doesn't know, if if Nick says three SpongeBob things, he gets a punch from Ryan. It's so true. that's one. He's on one right now. He's on one. All right. Anyways, <laughs> who lives a in a pineapple references. under the sea? <laughs> Ooh, that's dangerous. Don't give in, man. Don't, don't give in. Yeah, don't, I, don't. I think he doesn't even know <laughs> what's happening. Do do He's looking yeah, around like, like what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so yeah, no, so that yeah, that's the, that's your new single. You just dropped a day. Recorded at Ambit. You guys have a band camp or something? It's up on band camp and up on the Dirty Shirt Records website. Okay. Uh, and on Tuesday, well, we think by Tuesday it should be out on iTunes and Spotify and I think other things. I'm not too okay. sure. I know iTunes and Spotify. So. so your band MySpace. camp link, no MySpace, no, but your band camp link, you know, but our, I do have it It should be rlastwords.bandcamp.com. I think it's Okay, yeah, see, sometimes there's a, a our last word band or our last word official. There's another, like, word in there for some people sometimes. Let me get you here. Uh, Let's double check. Well, our last words official dot bandcamp dot com. See, that's some good looking out there. What about your Facebook, your socials? Because I'm sure there's a link to that band camp there. If uh, not, there should be. On Facebook, we're just our last words. <laughs> okay. Our, uh, uh, there's hyphens in between. There is? I believe so. Mm -mm. I so. Check. On Facebook? Are we doing a link here? Uh, yeah, the URL. Oh, the URL. <laughs> that makes more sense. Right. Uh, uh, www.facebook.com. I'm slash sure it's R hyphen R, last yeah. hyphen words. Yeah. Wow, like I that, know yeah. more than you. Uh, <laughs> we 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 go on our app and and we have the page See, pulled up. See, that's yeah, that's it. I I I hate doing anything on my phone because it's just it's so much more complicated. I love PC. Anyway. So you guys, you you played uh, the the Road to Point Fest on March twenty third, yes. the, the finals. Yes. And then uh, I found out not long after that you're going to be playing a pretty awesome show on May twenty fifth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think Sebastian wants to be the one to tell me about that. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ryan's done all um, of the talking. All right. So we have a show on the 25th with Danger Kids, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, and are you turn it up just to feel alive. Turn, turn it up just to feel, feel alive. alive. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's our first show uh, with Mike Judy as the promoter, correct? Yeah, that's yeah. our first show with Mike Judy. I love Mike Judy. <laughs> he puts on great shows, and we've been trying for a while to get on a show, and he's been looking for a show for us to kickstart on. So mm -hmm. he was just like, you know, we've heard you guys have really good work ethic, you know, work ethic. So here you go. Let's, you know, let's make this work. Uh, people, people will Shout say different things about Mike. Uh, I will, I have, and always will back him a hundred percent. I, I've known Mike for many, many, many years. We're not even remotely close anymore, but I knew him before he was a promoter. I know why, I think I know why he does a lot of the things he does that people disagree with and the people that disagree with him just don't know what they're talking about. So, uh, I stand behind him. He's great at what he does. He's built to that from being a bassist in a really crappy three piece band that he used to be in. So I, I'm very happy for you, and I think it'll be a great partnership. It's going to be a fun show. Um, who else is playing? Do you know? Abby on row and, oh, gosh. Uh, I, I believe uh, the band uh, Pure October. Uh, Pure October, yes. That's yeah. what they're called? Yes. Yeah. And they, a band just got added today, I think, called Forgetting January. Uh, why did you? Yes, they're great. <laughs> no, I I love them. I mean, I, I was I was just to say, why did you bring that up? Because that means I got to stop start talking about it. I'm really close friends with Freddie Dean January. Okay. They're they're good they're good pals of mine. They don't particularly fit that show in my opinion, but whatever. Uh, they they do they do well and they're good at what they do. They're more pop punk, but they're they're really great. And um, yeah, the Pure October is really good too. They've played with them before, so that sounds like a stacked bill. You know, uh, real quick, I just want to give a shout out to Colin Reagan because he's booked most of our shows since we've started. 
and he kind of gave us that extra extra shows and the the push that we need to get out there. He uh, we played with I Set My Friends on Fire back in December. He put us on that Whoa. show. That was our craziest show yet. That, that was the so most crazy. fun we've yeah, ever had. Yeah, I had that, that here in my notes. Fun like, every we've... time I looked out, there was another pit, like, out yeah. there. Every time I looked out, people were just Davey Vaughn played that, too, right? This is our dance? No, no. that was no. the that was the recent one. Yeah. That was okay. In, that was we're April. Again. Okay. Remember that one chick at FUBAR after the, after the, like, before I set my friends on fire went on, like, she was in the pit, and she gets hit in the face with this broken beer bottle. <laughs> And oh it, like God. her face was just like. Was oh, that the greater good? Yeah. 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 I, I, heard, I heard about that the next day. That yeah. Was, and then they went the back and better. they beat up the wrong person <laughs> in the pit. And then they and then like we were leaving the venue, and this one of the guys in the band had the greatest excuse ever. I think it was Ryan from the Greater Good. And Ryan. I walked outside, and there were cops on the corner, and he just goes, "The cops are just like, what? Well, did you see anything, or did you get any video or anything?" He goes. I was playing bass on stage, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it out loud. Say it. Uh, Evergreen Terrace. Okay. So we, yeah, we do need to break. Colin is a great dude too. But I don't Colin know him well. I've met him a few times. I don't think officially, but uh, I, I, I hear a lot about him. He, he's, he seems like he, he, he does work more with the metal bands, but he knows what he's doing when it comes to those. I think so. That's good because I couldn't book a metal show to save my life. I don't, <laughs> I don't know anything about metal, so. Yeah, there's something for everybody. But yeah, we do need to break for the video. So uh, Pat, since I did not bring in my flash drive, has got some stuff ready to go. It sounds like we're getting ready to listen to some Evergreen Terrace. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's go ahead and play that and we'll be back in a minute. 